Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Tim Kidwell Outdoors. I'm gonna try and be quick and kind of quiet because the baby's asleep and I've been dying to get this video out there. So I've had some, I guess, hiccups or issues on trying to mount this uh, Garmin onto the new pod that came with the Shearwater 125 and then I, I think I finally got it all dialed in, finally got all the right screws and everything else. So let me go ahead and show you guys how I mount my Garmin on the Shearwater 125 pods. Let's get into it. Okay, so first I want to go ahead and say that I got the Yak Attack Garmin round head arm that came with this. And then I also got the Yak Attack mount, or I think it's called the Mighty Mount. Everything I'm saying right now is going to also be in the description below. So I got, this was all one piece, and then this was separate. I got just the Mighty Mount. I didn't get the the bracket that goes underneath it as well. There's like two of them. One's more expensive because it had that extra piece. And then you got this one. I just got that one. Uh, this obviously came with the Garmin inside of the container and then you have to make sure that you get the right screws. Uh, I'll definitely leave right now on the screen what size screws that I used. I can't think of them at the moment, but yep, yeah, so I used those and then also to attach it. So that's that. And then moving on to the actual pod itself. Okay. So I got these glands off of Amazon. It came in like a pack of like I don't know, 20 or something like that. Um, I think these are the, P this one's the P11. And this one I think is the P9 size. Uh, just make sure that you measure this out right. I wanted to make sure this was kind of centered. It doesn't look like it is on camera, but it's pretty well centered. And then you just drill through this, drill through this, get those holes in. And this is the main thing that you got to really worry about when it comes to mounting the actual transducer. I'll go down there in a second. There was no way to do that. So let me zoom in. So right here, I had to drill like a little tiny hole to fit this in there just so it goes in. I didn't put any silicone on it yet. I was going to see if this was going to be an issue. I don't think it will be, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens because this would not close unless it clamped on the wire. So I had to do that little drill job right there. Okay, so the mounting and stuff for the transducer, all of this came with the Garmin itself inside the box. I had to get these two screws separately. These are M5s. I can tell you that because I had some issues trying to find them the right size and some people recommended to get this and I'm glad they did. So these are M5 screws and then everything else just, you know, came with the Garmin itself. All right, uh, also these wires came with the Garmin itself. And then opening up the box. So there they come through right here. I did not put any silicone right here yet because um, it's very tight. Um, to get in here because I, I guess I drilled this right on this spot which is really hard to put them through and then of course put the opposite side in so the holes that I drilled are a little bit smaller than the actual glands themselves so it made them really hard to fit in which pretty much made it watertight anyway and then right here as you can see this is the little drill job I did to allow this to pass through and then I've got my uh, 12 volt 10 amp battery this is not a lithium. I'll probably switch to lithium, but for the time being, I've always had this. This is just a lead acid battery I got off of Amazon. I'll leave that in the description below. And all the other wires came with the Garmin already. And that is exactly how... Make sure that's... I'm going gonna... I'm gonna to set the camera down to do this. And we're back. So I went ahead and put that right back on to close it. Uh, this is the only spot that actually holds this down. These right here hold it onto the actual kayak itself. And I really like this setup versus the way that I had it in my Yellowfin 100. Because Yellowfin 100, it had to read through the plastic. Which, yes, it does read through the plastic. This one will go right into the water. 
Uh, I think it will stop right about here, but there is like a, a guard that's in front of it on the actual kayak that'll protect this. I don't know if this might actually go a little bit further down than the guard, but if not, um, it, it wouldn't be too bad. But at least it's going to be de reading directly what's underneath the Garmin because this will actually be in the water versus inside a plastic kayak. And then obviously to connect them, let me open this up, put that on, and then bam, it's kind of tall, but luckily the arm will move back and forth. And I haven't really put it in the kayak yet, but I'll be doing that here pretty soon. Uh, with the baby, the way that my work schedule and Anna's work schedule is, it's kind of hard to be able to go fishing. Luckily, I will be able to go this weekend, so that'll be its own video. But this is just a quick and easy video on how I mounted the Garmin onto the Shearwater 125 pod. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will do my best to answer them. Um, but yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I probably will get a guard for the Garmin, um, just because of the way that the sun might hit it, I don't want to, I want to be able to see the screen, and I've seen a lot of people have those, and I figured, you know what, why not try and get one of those as well, uh, I think I've pretty much covered everything on this, um, I did want to actually mention, I don't know if you can get a replacement of these, so definitely make sure that when you drill, you, you find the right spots before drilling because I don't know if you can just replace just the pod. You might be able to. I don't know how Vibe works with that. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely leave your guys' comments down below. I will do my best to answer them as, you know, the best of my knowledge. And that's pretty much it, guys. And I'll see y'all in the very next episode of Tim Kidwell Outdoors. Hold on, Scooter wants to. Did you want to say something, Bubby? Uh-oh. Your sister's awake. See y'all later.